Good afternoon, folks. My name is Henry Kass. I'm a solution engineer here at Raza. And I want to take you through how to do an ephemeral install on a brand new Ubuntu box, just to get yourselves up and running with an instance of Raza X that can take a model and allow you to get playing with things straight away. So let's kick things off by having a look at the documentation. I'll take you through the process we'll be following. So we are going to be following along with the ephemeral installer installation method and be going through the quick start steps. However, one crucial difference is I'm going to make a couple of tweaks here because by default, the uh, ephemeral installer deploys RazorX without an open source server. So what that means is if you don't want to go ahead and connect to your own open source instance that you've been working with previously, if you follow these instructions, you're not going to end up with a instance that can do everything you want it to. So this is just a quick start guide to kind of take you through what you can do to tweak these instructions in order to have a RazorX instance that also has a production and worker pod, which are Kubernetes instances of Razor open source that can be used to work and have everything out of the box as it were. Brilliant. So what I've got here, if I just move that over to the side here, is a completely fresh instance of uh, Ubuntu 20 LTS. And if we go ahead and do the history here, you'll see that I logged in to check that that was all up and running. And that's literally everything we've done. So let's start off by copying our instructions here and sticking that across. Technically, we should probably be going ahead and doing a pseudo apt update and upgrade, but we'll skip over for that for now, given I'm going to destroy this box when the demo is finished. So we start off with installing Docker. And once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and reboot as you can see, that's disconnected, which is what we were expecting. Give that a minute to come back up and we can go ahead and connect back in. Brilliant. And now we can continue with the instructions that were running there. So we don't actually need to go ahead and curl that script again. We just need to run it. So let's just grab the second half of that and do a bash on that file. We've got Docker. Let's go ahead and install kubectl. As you can see, that's just zipping through everything and creating our Raza cluster. Now, there is a caveat to these instructions, which is I'm afraid you have to not judge me for using Nano in a couple of seconds. I never learned to Vim. But what we're going to be doing is deviating from this. Instead of just immediately doing a Raza CTL start, we're going to include a values file, which you'll see is additional info. Uh, if you actually look into the Raza CTL documentation, you can find the additional steps. But what we do here, uh, we make a values file that just includes the instructions in order to add in that worker and production pod. And that's all finished now. That only took a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and create that values.yaml file now. And the actual information we're going to need is a block of JSON that looks a little bit like this. So as discussed, we're just highlighting for the Helm chart that we're going to enable Raza production and Raza worker. Go ahead and save that. And we have our file now, and we're in a position to run our Raza CTL. So let's bring that in. Uh, call this example Raza X, and then give it a values file, which is going to be home directory. YAML. So this will take just a couple of minutes to deploy Razor X. And in addition to what we would get normally, we'll get those two pods that crucially allow us to get up and running and uh, upload a model or potentially link it to a GitHub and train the model without needing to link to an open source instance. And that's finished up now. So we have our URL should be able to access this instance. Now, one thing I want to highlight here is if you're doing this on GCP or in AWS, any sort of cloud. Bear in mind that this port range is not necessarily going to be one that you have available if you've got any firewalls, uh, firewall rules in place. So make sure that you take the range there, which is uh, 30,000 to 30,100, I believe, and make sure you open it up so that we can access this. Let's jump into this and see if that's cooking for us. And as you can see, we can hopefully log in with admin and a Raza x local awesome looks like we've got an instance up and running so i'm going to leave the command line behind now let's just run a quick history to give you a summary of those commands 
So we run our curl statement, we reboot to make sure the Docker's up and running correctly, we continue running the script, we make our values files, there'll be a link below to uh, the example that I gave there. Then we run our Raza CTL to actually make the instance, and then we have a fully functional instance of Raza X ready to play with. Uh, in this case, we don't have a model, so let's go ahead and add one, and I'm just gonna upload it from a file. And if we look on my desktop, fortunately, I've already cleaned things up, so we can go ahead and upload that now. And just like that, we've got a model. So let's go ahead and make that live, and then we should be able to have a chat with our bot. Now, if we go into models, you can see this one, and we're just gonna go ahead and make that active. And if we go and try and have a chat with it, we can probably get a picture of a tiger out of everything. Oh, I don't mean to share it. I want to actually have a chat with it myself. So now it's up and running. And to be clear, the bot I uploaded was just the bog standard uh, emotion bot you get when you do a Raza init. Uh, sometimes it takes just a minute for it to actually become active. Perfect. And if we tell it I'm sad, do we get a picture of a tiger? We do. Brilliant, folks. Well, that ends our tutorial. So we'll just flash those commands up again. So we follow the instructions in the quick start for the ephemeral guide on the website run the curl statement, reboot, continue running the script that we use, make ourselves a values file, and then run our Raza CTL. And just to be clear, that's Raza CTL start, the name of the Raza X instance you want to create, and then the location of the values file we created before. Hope that's helpful, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.